Hey everybody, it's Elizabeth and welcome back. You hear the cicadas? It is oddly a really beautiful calm moment for a summer evening. I got a cat down here below my feet. Poor little snarling. Anyway, so um so I've got some garden chores to do. And I'm just coming to you guys like, here it is. I'm just going to get some things done, bring you guys along. I was just putting up some tools and some buckets and stuff back where they go. Yay, so proud of myself. <laughs> and I was thinking about over here in what used to be our chicken run. Um, my husband told me a few weeks ago that there was a tomato over here, a rogue tomato plant. And so I thought we would walk over and see if there's any tomatoes because how fun. Um, other things that you'll see in this video... Okay, one, I've got to point out these rings, you guys. You might have seen them in the last few videos. I mean, how do people show off their rings without looking, like, extra ridiculous? But anyways, look at these. They're so pretty. I love them, especially that turquoise one. When my husband, like, I reached for, like, the remote or something, and he was like, whoa, somebody got new rings. They're big. And I'm like, yes, I love them. Anyways. Um, got them on Timu, like, two bucks each. I ain't mad about it. Um, anyway, so what we're going to do in this video is we're going to water and fertilize a shade garden, which I recently did a great deep cleaning and weeding on. I've got to spray bug killer on some stuff out there in the in-ground garden. <sighs> I'd like to fertilize out there too, but I don't know. But I did decide that when I water the shade garden, I'm going to go ahead and fertilize it. I've not fertilized it at all this year. That might be why the roses are not doing fantastic. Um, I don't know. I think they do fine without fertilizer. But like I literally every other year have fertilized them once a month in the growing season. So that could be it. They could be bummed. Um, oh, there's my puppy. There's my puppy. You see her right there? She can't come any further than that because of the invisible fence. But she's like, Mom, it's so sad. All right. So let me turn you around. So this used to be our chicken coop and this was the run. We took all the fencing down. I mentioned having a large wild wormwood elsewhere. Here she is. She crazy. You guys, I started this from seed, put it in like, I don't know, probably three years ago now. Look how big that thing is. Wild. So yeah. Yeah, I don't prune that or nothing. I let it just do its thing. And I don't think it even dies back in the winter. But anyways, and here's my wisteria, which has taken years to get to be doing much of anything. But look at these little arms hanging down. Let's see if we can flop them over. This is why when we took the fencing down, uh, we didn't take the whole like roof structure down. Sorry, we were filming. I'm trying to flop these over. Um, because the years I've invested in my wisteria can't cannot no way no way we can never tear this down we just can't on top of that um it flowered this year for the first time only in a few places just like a few little flowers is all we ever caught but um look at these arms out here like twisting up and choking itself okay but anyway i think it'll be fine I don't even know if you're supposed to like prune or do any sort of maintenance on these guys. Uh, cat, dude, I'm gonna step on you by accident if you don't quit it. Okay, so it's almost across. So see, we got some some more to go, but it's doing really good. Here's that um, tomato my husband was talking about. It's kind of little. Do we see? Oh, I see a tomato. Wow. Don't want to walk in there. Always asking myself these things. You know, critters. Let's see. Okay, being brave. Being brave. So, um, that's a weed. This guy right here. And this, uh, I don't know if my husband cut that. Hit it with the weed eater or what? It looks awful weird. But there's a little tomato. Do we see any more starling? I don't think we do. 
So she's not going to be really productive or anything. No, she's not. No, she's not. But you're so cute. You are so cute. Just a big baby butt is what he is. He's a big baby butt. <laughs> All right, so we checked it out. Nothing exciting. So the only way that we have water over on the other side of the house by the pool and the shade garden is because I literally have a hose ran from our spigot in the kitchen garden. Um, and it runs all along there. In fact, I'll show you. Hey, hey, leave him alone. You go scare him. See? It comes from way up there. Runs, I think, actually two hoses. Runs all the way along there. Runs along the other side of the house. And then I'll show you what it looks like over there. Look, there's a spider. What's that, one of them banana spiders? I don't know. I don't like any spiders. Here's another great area I need to weed next. Y'all, that day that I weeded, uh, 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 Maple, let him run away. Calm yourself. <laughs> He's just a baby. Anyway, the day that I was weeding and getting in the pool and then weeding and getting in the pool, you guys, that was so physically and mentally rewarding. I got so much done. I didn't overheat, I got a good tan, went in, showered, moisturized, you know, all was good. And I'm like, why? Why have I not been doing this all along? So that's what I'm gonna do from now on, whether it's a weekday or the weekend. Y'all, I'm just gonna come outside in my bikini. I don't care who's around. And I'm just gonna get to work. I'm gonna weed, I'm gonna jump in the pool, whatever. That's gonna be my new go-to. And so I'm excited about it. So now I'm not dreading having to weed all this stuff because I'm like, it's going to be great. I'm going to get in the pool. Look at that dog chasing that cat. <laughs> anyway, so here is my water source. And used to, we had this three-way hooked up so that um, it was very easy. I would just like uh, flip a switch and um, this right here is the line that goes over to the other side of the house, the shade garden. This thing started leaking a ton so we took it off. I'm kind of, you know, now we need to do something different. Got this big guy on here. Um, this red line coming up and over, well actually, it here's where it comes from water and then it runs up and over runs down and that is the irrigation system we put in and hand dug 300 feet out behind me to the big in-ground garden and over to the old um, cottage garden so that there's water out there so that was um, extensive and my boys did most of that thank goodness I need both hands all right so when it's on there just turn the water on See what it's doing. Let me see if I can adjust it. Oh, I'm just gonna deal with this for now. I didn't want to have to put this on there, but anyway. So then we just turn that water on, start filling that hose, make sure that one is off, off, and off. Yeah, we're just we're creating a flood here. And I bought this new two-piece one, but it was leaking the same. So. I don't know why. I don't know what's happening. These little things like this, like when things like this don't work, really irritates me because I'm like, I should be smart enough to figure this out and I can't always. So, look at that. That is obscene. Why are you doing that? We figured maybe it busted. Oh my God, we're just going to deal with it. That's what we're going to do. That's how I deal with problems. All right. So we're going to flood the yard. So I'm going to use some of this. It looks like it's actually just got water in there. So I need to uh, refill it. But I could dump this semi-fertilized water on some plants. 
Lord knows cucumbers don't need it. Look at my dog. She's like, yeah, party, cold water. You know what just dawned on me is that part of why that hose is spewing like that, maybe because the other side is not on because it has um, a, um, what's that called? What are you doing, Sterling? Oh my God, I did not get there fast enough. He jumped up and had his front paws on the side of the trampoline. His body was just swinging in the wind. This is why we love kittens. They are so crazy. So much fun. You're fun too. You're fun too. I know. Um, it has a handheld sprayer thing on it. So there would be, you know, the, the line would fill up and there'd be all this pressure on it because it's not exiting. So maybe that's why that's leaking like that. I don't know. I'm not super concerned because like I said, this is not an area that I water often. These are all very established perennials. I just want them to get fertilized and soaked in. Connor cleaned up all this debris for me. But see, here's where the hose ends. Comes all the way here. So it's three hoses all together. And then my husband hung me a pretty thing up there. Um, so I'm going to switch out that nozzle for this. Get to watering these guys. Well, look at this. I can't even use this because somebody broke the handle off. And I've been sitting here trying to figure out if I could like push it. What's going on in there? I can't. I can't push it. I don't know. Maybe I need something really hard. Goodness gracious. I can't push it by hand. This is this is what happens when we try to have nice things. I'm pretty sure there's not even water in this hose right now, so I'm gonna take this thing off and see. All right, so we do have water, but here's the thing, I just put all that you know fertilizer in that thing I can't use now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw this hose down to water. I'm gonna open up this guy, this thing, and I'm gonna sprinkle the fertilizer around the roses, maybe the hydrangeas. Not everything, because not everything needs it. So I'm just going to sprinkle that around, since I can't use this thing. Which is a bummer. If you saw that video, I was like, hey, I've always wanted those. One, I wanted to try one of those when I realized it was reusable. I used it twice, and now it's broken. Life with pets and kids. Look at, I spy a little tree frog. Look at that guy. How cute. And then just above him is like a big old grasshopper. Well, okay, hi guys. <laughs> All right. <sighs> Fertilizer has been put out. And now, I guess I should just put the handle back on this since I'm just using it as is. Yeah, because if not my finger, maple leave it. Maple's over there trying to eat the fertilizer, so I'm having to yell at her. Yep, this will get old. I'm going to put the handle back on. I tell you, this is when like a five minute task should take five minutes. Takes like 25. Because, you know, hashtag life. Now we're cooking. I really wasn't worried about watering this shade garden because like I said, most everything here is established. But also because we had a really wet July, which was so random. I mean, we got rain like almost every other day. So that was crazy. So there was a lot there for a while. I didn't have to um, hand water. I want to make sure that fertilizer in there gets broken up. It's a water soluble fertilizer, but you can put it on the ground and water it in. And it'll work that way. So that's how I typically do it. And what I used to do when I was really taking care of this area more, keeping it cleaner and stuff, is I'd go through with my hose on jet at least once a week after my husband mowed and weed eated. Maple, leave it. And I would do this and clean off the bricks which is quite satisfying. 
I'm going to do that this evening too because um, I've not done it in forever. And after as much as I was weeding and throwing stuff all around, it definitely needs it. That one has some weeds in it. Anyways, it just makes it look nicer. Knocks off the debris and stuff. So I hope you guys are having a good day. Thank you for being here with me. Hope you enjoy this peaceful moment. Um, it's actually not too hot right now. I was going to wait and do this later this evening. But I have been eating so late because my, my body, my circadian rhythms, whatever you want to call it, really want to eat dinner after it's dark. After dark, not before. I'm not hungry before. Um, but if I'm not staying up super late, which I don't most of the time, then um, that's eating way too late for me. I end up having like acid reflux and just all sorts of issues that I don't have if I eat earlier. So instead of waiting to do this and then waiting so late that I don't do it, I decided I'd just go ahead and do it. I'm going to make dinner earlier this evening, which means when I'm done with dinner, I'll actually have some work I need to finish on my computer because I came out here earlier when I wasn't done, but that's okay. I can still get it done. I'll just get it done after dinner. And, uh, see, I don't like it when grass gets on the hostas. I think that's part of what makes them start turning, at least these here on the side. You know, they get a little funky looking. But, anyway, so that's what I'm going to do. That's some stuff, apparently, that Connor forgot to get. Get out of there, weeds. All right. But yeah, you see how like that grass piles up on those hosta leaves? I can't stand that. I don't know why. I think it bothers me because I don't think it's healthy for plants. So I just like to try and clean them off as best as I can. Look at all the grasshoppers going everywhere. There's another plant that I put a lot of fertilizer on. Tons of grasshoppers, dang. Like a colony living in there, I guess, before I pull all them weeds. Anyway, this is gonna make me feel a lot better about this bed. I'm gonna feel like it's kind of buttoned up and taken care of for, you know, I don't know, a week or two. Depending on the rain we get. Now that it's getting like hotter and some of these plants look like they're struggling, I will water over here more if we don't have rain. We have a trip coming up in a bit, so I'll definitely be making sure to deep water before we leave. Get all of our babies taken care of. Um, while we're having this little chat, I thought I would mention I'm trying a new uh, boarding center for Maple this time. Because we are going out of the state and we're going to be gone four or five days. And so we're not taking her with us just like we didn't last time. So she's going in a boarding facility. Uh, if you missed one of my last videos from like a few weeks ago, we went on like a weekend trip. I did not like the place where I left her. It was our first time boarding her. First time using that place. And as soon as I got there, I had bad vibes about it. So... But I felt bad because we were like just like leaving town. There was nothing I could do. So, of course, nothing like terrible happened to her. But I just don't, you know, she's my baby. And I don't feel like she was well taken care of. So, we didn't want to do that again. But this other place is highly recommended. And is associated with our vet. So, that's super exciting. And uh, I have no concerns, zero concerns. Instead of being in like a room full of a ton of kennels, um, this time she gets a private room. It's only $10 more a night than what I paid for the crappy place. 
and she has her own room with a door that closes. She can't hear all the other dogs barking and freaking out. And, um, uh, it's like a cot in there, like a dog cot. And then even like a TV, which I don't know if the TV, you know, stays on or what, but I just thought that was cute. And if so, it's probably just to like have some noise. So either way, I'll take it. <sighs> so if you missed that last video, we cut back our glads. Probably won't have any more gladiolus blooms this year. And you just leave the plants. Wow, look at you, rogue guy. What do we do if I spray them? Poop. <laughs> Anyways, what was I saying? Oh, you just, for plants like that and like lilies and stuff and daffodils and everything, you know, you just trim off the sad bloom and then uh, leave all the greenery for it to absorb energy from the sun because as it's absorbing that energy when there's no flower, it is storing it for next year's flower. Isn't that fascinating? Bulbs are amazing. I think that's pretty cool. I don't know if this is going to be... Oh yeah, I guess it'll kind of get all the way over there enough. I don't have the hose all the way out, so... I'm just kind of getting... These things are pretty established. I don't super duper worry about them. I was honestly only going to water the shade garden because I wanted to fertilize it. Which, I mean, I did. I accomplished it, but wish I was fertilizing all this stuff, too, at the same time. That little thing sure was handy. Guess I'll have to get a new one and put it up somewhere. I don't know if I, like, left it out and Maple got a hold of it. I thought I had it on my plant stand, so nobody could get it, but we'll see. I'm going to let you go for a minute so this video didn't get to be so long. Because, I mean, I could literally just stand here and talk. Like, it's one of my many talents. Could talk to a brick wall. But it's a little different with the video because, like, I know someone is going to be watching it. And you guys always comment back to me in the comments. I love that. Thank you. Because then it's just, you know, reaffirming that I'm not having a one-sided conversation. Which is great. Cats are trying to creep on each other. Oh, I don't know. They were like, nope, we're not doing it. Let's play cool. Oh, they're trying to get the water hose as I walk and I pull it across the yard. They're enticed by it. Right, the other thing I wanted to do while I was out here was put the hose in the pool. Because I noticed when I was in there today, it was like a few inches, um, sh like too low. And so just like, you know, half an inch on the edge, it would be too low. So I don't know when there's rain in the forecast next. So I'm just going to go ahead and put that in there for like an hour, set a timer. So that will mess up my hose on the other side of the house. Like I'll only have like half the pressure, but that's okay. I just need to water the kitchen garden and we can do that. We can get it done. Hopefully, I mean, hopefully it won't act ridiculous. I need to refill all these bird baths over here too. So I guess it's better that I don't have the hose on. Y'all, it's flooded so much that it's coming all the way over here. That is crazy. So I guess after I get things watered, I will, I'll turn that off. And what I'll do is I'll just put the uh, pool hose on the spigot so it quits leaking because that is a whole lot of water. You know, we pay for that, so might as well not. Maple's over here trying to drink everything. Um, I don't have a spigot on that hose. It's like the never ending saga. So I'm just uh, refilling the cat bowls. So I think I'm gonna call this video like weekly garden chores because this is not stuff I do every day. This is more like, you know, fertilizing, watering a very established plant when we've had some rain, um, refilling bird feeders, bird baths, all those things, because I've got <laughs> maple walked in front of this stream of water. 
it shot her in the butt. And she turned around and, like, tried to, like, I don't know, paw at it or something. It was funny. Funny, funny. And that is, like, leaking an insane amount of water. So, just filling this bird bath here. This one was... Uh, no, leave it. Was outside my bedroom window there. Um, and it was not flat ground. It was not level. So when we put this uh, landscape fabric down, I decided to move it over here because underneath this part is a concrete sidewalk. So it's actually perfectly flat. So I can fill it up all the way with water for the birds, which is great. Because then I probably only would have to do it once a week. I think it got moved actually because it looks like one of the feet yep one of the feet was in the grass making it not level marsh maple's hyper she's running around like crazy oh hey fun fact you know in one of my recent videos i mentioned that cucumber trellis swaying in the wind i even showed you what it looked like and was like look at that it's kind of pretty yeah well that evening it fell over and i remember saying in that video i'm not worried about it it's so secure apparently it wasn't um i never noticed it i was just working my husband got home from work and he saw it and he fixed it thank goodness he went and got two uh, two posts and hammered those in the ground I'm always worried about what is on my feet. Like, is it a cat? Is it a snake? Is it a cricket? Is it water? Don't like that. Anyway, he got these two posts. I'll show you in just a second because we're fixing to be over there. See, there's one. It's like a half a T-post. And he just did that in both. Which he probably cut that T-post in half because I don't know that we had halves, but... Anyway, so it is super solid now. It's not even leaning. And he did do what I had mentioned, which was getting some of these rogue vines over here and throw them up over the top. So that was good. And very sweet of him. Just come home and see my stuff in disarray and take care of it. This kitchen garden has been so babied. I'm not, I'm, I wasn't even showing you. It's been so babied. All this stuff is doing really well. It's been watered a ton. So I'm not super worried about it. I'm really doing a very light watering on the kitchen garden. My main concern with watering over here was my containers because they are absolutely 100% drying out and need some love, need some moisture is what they need. And so... That's what I came over here to water, but I'm just going to go ahead and give everything else like a little sip. You see how when that other thing is on, my shower setting is like half. But yeah, most of this stuff over here, it doesn't, it doesn't need a ton. It's been doing well. I'm going to be harvesting from this kale tonight, so that's exciting. I'll probably do that while I'm out here with you guys because I won't need scissors or anything. That was our almost casualty look at it because the because what happened is it flopped over this way hit the lights tore the lights down and landed on the kale so when my husband told me i was like wow that does sound like a big deal that sounds poopy and he's like i already fixed it all so i'm like super um but yeah so it, it deadheaded this kale over here whatever so i'm making zuppa toscana soup for dinner tonight it's an italian soup with italian sausage and potatoes and kale so good so i'm going to peel off these leaves that look bad harvest me some to take inside and then that'll probably help that plant do a little bit better since it's been through some stress i guess i really need to go around the other way because the hose will get trapped on everything maple now it's stuck on maple So, this is why I don't normally, like, come along and be like, hey, I'm watering my garden. So, what it's like? Because it's kind of a cluster with the pets. 
but it is usually quite peaceful and lovely. Sometimes I get some things done in the garden, which is nice. Most of the time I don't. I just water and tell myself that's good enough, even if I feel bad. Even if I have, like, you know, a hundred other things to do in the garden. Like, for example, I really want to tie up these tomatoes. I know where there's some strain. There's scissors right there. Probably take me three minutes. I might talk myself into doing that. <clears throat> so, the secret with my garden and my hose is we got to skip that fourth bed. Come all the way over here to get the hose stretched out. Or else it's just going to hit the table. It's going to hit all this stuff. Um, so we just stretch it all the way out and come all the way down here. Now it's stuck on the top bed. Oh my goodness, Jizo Pete's. Maple move. Yep, I might have to go get it. That's, that's how fun this is. Probably would be better if I put my hose in that actual thing over there. Instead, it does this. Because it's all sprawled out. And I get mad at it, so I just jerk on it and jerk. <laughs> my husband's like, if you would just if you just pick it up, it'd be fine. I'm like, yep, probably. But I guess that's just one of my pet peeves. It's like a stuck water hose. Okay, I don't remember what I was saying before, but I'm gonna go back up here to the front of this section, get some stuff over here. Especially these new little begonias. You want them to survive, first year perennials. I'm gonna cut back all these glads when I weed in here. This area's gonna look so different. That's awesome. Maybe I'll do that in the morning. Cause that's gonna be such a cool difference. This is going to be a cool difference too because there's only like three plants in here and the rest are weeds. So when I get those weeds pulled out, it's going to look so much better. I love these little flowers. I wish I, I wish I kept around them cleaned up better so they could really be a showstopper. Instead, you're, you just notice, hi, oh, dragonfly. He was right here on that hollyhock and he ran off. Anyways, I wish I kept it cleaner around that because it's so pretty so it could really shine, but I don't. I could. These critters really, now that I think about it, they're a lot like having a two-year-old in the garden with you um, that are all trying to play together. That's not the right setting for that. I'm going to have to do shower, which means I'm going to have to get it closer. So, there's just little wild heathens. That'll be better. That'll work better. The sun is starting to go down. Lovely. Someday that arch is going to be beautiful. I have no doubt. Oh, I just thought of somewhere that I can use my bamboo walkway. I've been wondering, you know, I bought that at that other house. Um, for a specific problem area. And then we moved like a month later. And... I've been wondering what to do with it. It's in great condition. It's adorable. It's real bamboo. So it's like great. And I just got to thinking. I can have it start at the archway here. And have it lead up to the couch area. And I've got three sets of them. Or three. Yeah. Three boardwalk sets. 16 feet long each. So maybe it could lead kind of up and around the couch on two sides. I'm not sure, but that would be, that could be neat. That could work. That'd be fun. I'm almost done with what I need to water over here, which is great. 
then I can get to doing my spray for bugs. And what else is I gonna do? Fix that water hose, I guess. I don't know if you can tell my skin shining and the sweat dripping down my chest. It is warm. 100% warm. And I feel like I'm losing water. Look, look at this. It, it feels like it's worse than it was. I don't know why. There's tons of grasshoppers over here too. Like tons. I feel like I'm just sprinkling water on these plants at this point. Kind of annoying. This guy is finally thriving. Can you see that? With these little purple and white looking bloom things on it. It's a new perennial I put in this year in like the first month, month and a half. It just always looked like half wilted down and like it was gonna uh, just die at any moment. And then when we would get a lot of rain, it would look happy. So I realized it needed more water. And so I've been watering it more and it's doing better. And now it's actually growing. And it went from one stem to four. And it is so cute. I don't know, even know how big it's going to get. I hope it turns into like a bush someday because that would be rad. Um, because it's so pretty. This little tropical guy right here to my left is the main one I was worried about. Because see, it's wilted down. And it was watered two days ago. But it's probably root bound in there. And it's been really super hot. So it's just evaporating all of the, any amount of fluid that it does have, or moisture, I should say. Yeah, it's like coming out so slow. I'm having to literally just hold it over each plant so it just falls on it. It's so strange. I guess because that leak over there is probably just getting worse and it's losing all that pressure. Well, at least the jet will shoot it out there a little further. I just need to water around some stuff. This is maple chasing grasshoppers. She does this every evening. Her and the cats all love that landscape fabric because they can see the grasshoppers. And so they try to get them. They love it. I haven't seen hardly any germination in these side cells. Oh, I think I see some over there now. I guess I should just keep waiting. They're probably okay. I don't think I watered my Chinese noodle beans. Once I get the landscape fabric down, I'm going to get some more of those. Um, uh, those, what are they called? Um, water hose stops. And like these things, those two things, those won't be out there. That's just holding that landscape fabric down where that sidewalk is because we couldn't put a pin in it. And this happens almost every day. And again, gets on my nerve. Okay, there's my noodle beans. Alright, this is enough of this torrential leak. Look at this. All coming from over there. So I'm going to get that turned off and fixed. Okay, I actually ended up being able to get this two-way, this new two-way fixed. There's just the tiniest little drip that runs along the bottom of the hose. Not so bad. And actually put up part of this hose until I get it situated in there. So I am just sitting here. Obviously water's bladder all over my glasses <laughs> waiting for my husband to tell me which bottle is bug killer and which is weed killer because how terrible would it be if I sprayed pumpkins 
with weed killer because they die. And we have them in these like three gallon pump spray bottle things, canisters that you carry around and spray. And we have the weed killer for like the gravel driveway and, and places like that and like around the edges of the pool where we don't want to have to weed eat all the time. And I believe that they're in identical containers. So I don't want to guess. Someday that's going to be a really beautiful view. Sun peeking through and the arch, which you probably won't even be able to really see that arch until there's stuff growing on it, but I'm here for it. All right, my husband is obviously still busy with work because he has not even seen my message for like the last 15 minutes. And I've sat here and had some chill time, looked at my calendar, was planning out the rest of my evening with the work things I still have to do. Um, and so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna spray the pumpkins for bugs. I'm, I've asked him to do that when he gets home, because a lot of times he does do the spraying stuff for me anyway. That's why he knows which container is which. So anyways, I'm gonna leave it at that. But anyway, so this was a nice little, uh, I guess chit chat hang out with me session. Cats are starting to calm down. Looks like Sterling's gonna take a nap. Ernesto's not calming down. Sterling is like, I'm ready to chill. Let's just chill. Yuck! I had an ant climbing on my thigh. Not allowed. Wow, there's a cucumber over here trying to climb on the umbrella. Look at this. I guess he just... Oh, he's all wrapped up. Okay, let's pull you off. Detach, detach. Come over here. Vines are so fun, but also really funky with like where they decide to go and what like what they're even doing with their life. What are you even doing? Okay, oh, might have ripped a piece off, but at least they're all on there now. Wow, and these guys, did I not see this earlier? That should be easy enough to fix. Yeah, th these vines are jimongous. Let me know. Are you growing cucumbers this long? Am I doing something magical? Or is this a, just a variety thing? I don't know. That one was all wrapped up in itself. This one we're going to bring over here. It's like, it's like a cluster show. It's like, what's happening here? This one's long. I'm gonna try and like throw it. Oh, it worked. <laughs> anyway, now they're all up there again. All right, so I'm gonna end this video here. I don't know what the next video will be about. I still need to do that Timu haul, so probably that. Um, Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed being here and hanging out with me this evening as I did some evening weekly garden chores. Hope that you guys are having a wonderful day wherever you are. You, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day wherever you are. We love you.